Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Welcome to Amir Pet Technologies. In this video, I am going to explain about how to become a full stack developer easily and what is the process of learning step by step to become a full stack developer. So generally, so full stack development means either you will become the Java full stack developer or a .NET full stack developer or you will become the UI developer. There are three full stack developers nowadays taking classes in the market. See what is the easy way to become full stack developer and what is the training training process in Amirpet Technologies and that is the correct way of learning full stack development course, right? See here, how can we become full stack developer? Every full stack developer has to develop the application end to end. So generally what is the application and what are the systems we have to create in application? See, in the application development process, we need to design the client system, we need to design server system and the database. These are the three things we have to learn. And what is the correct way of learning? See, client design is common for all. How can we design the client system means what? Using the web technologies called HTML, CSS and JavaScript. HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So this is common for every developer. Either you are the Java full stack developer .NET full stack developer or Python full stack developer or you want to become a UI developer, these three are common. So, we need to learn, right here it is, all these web technologies in one class. And the next one is, so using this client, what you can develop means what? Just the forms, web pages we are writing. For example, in banking application, we already discussed in the previous video also. Suppose consider one banking application, right? What is the main purpose of banking application? Whenever the customer entered into the bank to take the account, we need to create one account to the customer. After that, we need to provide, right, all, all operations on account and maintaining that information for all accounts. See, where we are creating means what? In the database, in the database, we are creating the accounts. How can we manage the data? How can we create this database? How can we manage the data means what? Using this database management system application. Using this database management system application. So what are the database management system applications? If you are the Java student, you have to learn Oracle. If you are the .NET student, we have to learn SQL Server. If you are the UI developer, you will learn MySQL or MongoDB or any other database management system. So one database management system you have to learn is used to manage the data. Manage the data means to insert the data, to retrieve the data, to modify, nothing but to update the data or to delete the data. Next, here how can we send the information from client? For, for example, one customer came, right? The customer want to create the account. So what bank employee will do? We are developing the applications not for our sake. We are developing the applications by which the banking people performing the operations, all account operations they will perform. So what bank employee will do? The bank employee just will open the bank, for example, hdfcbank.com. hdfcbank.com, they will open. And here we are providing the options. Just create the account. Create the account. So whenever they click on create button, then we are providing that, enter the customer account number, enter the customer name, and what is that minimum balance and some other details and simply we click on create button. What bank employee will do? 
we need to think right in a in the way how bank employees are interacting with your application simply they will open hdfcbank.com they will click on create account whenever the customer want to take the account after providing the details how can we design this one for that we need to learn html css and javascript this is one class next so whenever they click on create then we need to perform operations in the server in server what are the technologies we are using yes if you are the java developer full stack developer you will learn all java technologies core java advanced java frameworks if you are the dotnet developer you will learn c sharp dotnet asp.net ado.net mbc you will learn frameworks if you are the if you are the ui full stack developer then the server side operations we are not doing here only we will improve here as a java full stack java developer or full stack dotnet developer now we need to concentrate on server side programming and what is the correct way of learning every day the two classes will go right here it is here we are taking two classes every day in two classes in the first class one class is one and a half hour in that class we concentrate on implementing the client system in another class in one and a half hour class we are concentrating on developing the server side system nothing but two classes in one class you will learn web technologies in another class you will learn server side programming server side programming means what if you are the java developer starting from the very basic of java we will teach if you are the full stack dot net developer from the basic we will teach sir so here is it is it required to learn c programming language before attending the full stack java classes right most of the institute saying that right c language is required right to learn java programming and all no as you are the java developer or you are as you are the dot net developer you need to learn the logical programming with java syntax and dot net syntax if you learn first c language for example in other institutes suppose it will take 3 months to 4 months after 3 months to 4 months you cannot start your java class and dot net class right you will waste your complete time instead of that what you are learning with the c language syntax here we will discuss with the java syntax simple example if you want to write addition of two numbers program if you learn with the c language syntax the addition of two numbers program you cannot write in java so what we have to do simple write how to perform addition operation on two numbers we will learn in java only directly that is also the basic program next level for example checking the number is even number or odd number right printing the multiplication table printing the factorial printing the patterns array based programs string based programs nowadays all companies are expecting the questions from arrays strings collections and other concepts all these main concepts we need to cover with the either java syntax or with the dot net syntax right if you concentrate on c programming language so later that arrays and strings are completely different from c programming as well as for java programming once again we need to concentrate with the different syntax we need to learn all array based programs and all string based programs completely waste of time so that's why directly the logical programming we will implement with the java syntax or dot net syntax or ui syntax if you are the ui developer the same programs we will implement with javascript so here it is how we are concentrating means what daily we are taking two classes in one class we concentrate on client in one class we concentrate on server sir how long it will take the course exactly see for example here we are taking the four months of training four months to complete that full stack java full stack dot net or ui 
how the classes will go in the first month in the first month we are taking two classes as i told you right one class is a html css and javascript and in one class we we start core java or if you are the dotnet developer we will start c sharp dotnet here we cover the concepts of complete logical programming complete object oriented programming and collections related programs so right here it is these two classes will go parallel right how long it will take means what exactly one month it will take only one month it will take that is the first month next in the second month what we will develop same if you are the java developer right we we are concentrating on advanced java in advanced java what are the concepts will cover we cover jdbc servlets and jsp and along with one database again two slots are there two classes are there in one class is advanced java and in one class we are teaching but oracle in the first month you will learn web technologies and core java in the second month you will learn advanced java as well as oracle so in two months you can able to develop one web application and you are ready to upload your resume within two months you will be ready to upload the resume as a java web developer not full stack developer and one more resume you can upload this is resume 1 and the second resume you can upload as a full stack means what as a ui developer also one is a java web developer second one is a ui developer the two resumes you will upload so which one will pick first so then you can easily enter into the company so how much we will charge for this one for these two months right the total fee is a 25k and here we charge only 15k for this one only 15k for first two months until we complete that web development course not frameworks right next in the third month suppose if you get the job within two months no need to pay the remaining amount of 10k no need to pay the remaining amount right if you want to complete that complete full stack is nothing but by including the framework also if you want to complete then you have to pay that remaining 10k so then you will learn that framework java framework spring boot with a data jpa so that next you will upload the resume as a full stack developer java full stack developer right how many how many ways we can upload the resume to get the job one is a ui developer by learning perfectly html css and javascript second one is a java web developer by including that jdbc servlets jsp and oracle after completion of frameworks in the third month right then you can upload your resume as a java full stack developer the same story for dotnet also after completion of c sharp dotnet in the first month in the second month you will learn ado.net and asp.net like advanced just like advanced you will develop application using this one then you can upload your resume as a ui developer that is one resume next one is a dotnet web developer two resumes you can upload same story which one will pick first then you can enter into the company no suppose if you are attending the third month classes also in third month you will learn that framework called mvc then you can go enter into as a .net full stack developer no sir i want to become a ui developer only complete ui full stack developer means what first month you will concentrate on html css javascript in the next month you will concentrate on remaining concepts angular next one is a react js next one is a node express mean mern everything you will learn so then again two resumes one is a ui developer next one is a ui full stack developer mean stack mern stack developers like that you can upload your resume within 3 months within 2 months everyone can become a ui developer as well as a web developer two resumes you can upload in just 2 months if you learn perfectly 2 months the companies will pick you easily they will give the job easily in the third month 
right you will learn all frameworks ui frameworks dotnet frameworks or java frameworks to become a complete full stack java developer or full stack dotnet developer or full stack ui based developer right that is the third resume which resume will pick first or depends on the company company requirement so they will pick you so this is the way of completing the full stack development course in just 3 months from amirpet technologies so in the last month right here it is what is that last month means what for example within these 3 months if you are not getting the job still again we are concentrating on all the concepts where you are not good at where you are not perfect and where you are means what getting fail whenever you are attending the interviews and everything we will take care of you for that we are taking one more extra month so all you have to do is what you have to spend four months here right how many classes will go daily just two classes one and a half hour one and a half hour classes like three hours classes will go every day three hours classes will go after that right how to perform the lab right weekly tests we will conduct next one every day work we will provide the workbooks worksheets everything ready all you have to do means what you need to spend the time here after completion of your 3 hours classes some of the students can complete the tasks what we have given within 30 minutes only but that is not possible for all the other students how long it will take right the take your own time complete the task then you can leave right there are no much restrictions right to stay here for so long time from morning to evening and all just complete your class after completion your class whatever the task we asked you need to complete the task then leave so this is the way of learning full stack course from amirpet technologies thank you all